Just kind of watching the uh, fire burn out here. It's 10 after 11 and uh, it's getting late and nothing of interest has happened yet, unfortunately. But we have the whole night ahead of us, so I'm going to do something here <laughs> that is probably a bad idea, but I, I want to do it. It might, you know, really creep me out, and I probably won't be able to sleep after, but I'm going to just play some of the, uh, some of the Sierra sounds in hopes of maybe something hearing it. Now, it's not going to be very loud. I'm just playing it off my phone, but if there are Sasquatch around close by listening, then they might hear it. So... So scary.
Well, that's creepy to listen to when you're out in the woods by yourself. Um, in that last really long clip, um, you can hear like Ron Moorhead and his pals. Um, they're interacting with them, so you can hear like Ron is really close to the recorder in that instance, and then in the distance you can hear the Sasquatch beings communicating and yelling. And there's a really great variety in, in noises that you hear. I mean, sometimes it sounds like you hear like a, almost like a drumming sound, which is crazy, like a musical sound, and then uh, you'll hear that really fast rock clacking, um, and then stuff that sounds like speech, communication, talking, sometimes even singing, and uh, lots of whistling. And then there's that one noise that they make that sounds very similar to like a, a loon or something like that, some sort of bird. Um, huh. Yeah, I don't know. That just gives me the creeps listening to that. But I, I believe that the Sierra sounds are legit. The Sierra sounds and the Patterson footage, those are like my two go-to pieces of Bigfoot evidence. When I'm <laughs> trying to convince something that Bigfoot's a reality, I, I always show them. Uh, those two things. Wind keeps changing on me here. But could you imagine just being out in the wilderness like I am right now alone and then hearing something like that close by? Be running as fast as I can to the car to get the hell out of here. I think there they were something like eight miles into the wilderness in the Sierra Nevada mountains. So, you know, if anything bad was to happen they would have been screwed. There's no fast way to get out of there. They're literally on a mountain. And they rode in on horseback. They can't just up and leave in the middle of the night. So, I don't know. Luckily nothing ever happened. Nothing bad ever happened to them. But, I don't know. It just, it sounds real to me. Like, usually you can just tell when something's been doctored and audio has been manipulated or dubbed in you can tell 
you know, the human ear can pick up on those, on those kinds of things. Um, and it just seems to me to be, to be legit. So you can actually um, go to Ron Moorhead's website. I think it's sierrasounds.com or ronmoorhead.com. It's one of those websites. Um, or if you just go to Google and search the Sierra Sounds by Ron Moorhead, you can find his website, and you can actually um, you can purchase the uh, the uh, programs that they created uh, for the Sierra Sounds. So there's one that's narrated by Ron Moorhead describing the whole story like and what happened and how the sounds were recorded and describing the interactions with the beings and then there's one that's actually narrated by Jonathan Franks uh, from Star Trek The Next Generation um, plays Commander Riker so that's kinda cool and uh, I have them on my phone I've been I think I've listened to them like six or seven times now <laughs> so um, if you want to know about the Sierra sounds from like the actual person who recorded them and was there, then that's the way to do it. And uh, it's definitely worth uh, purchasing. So I'll put a link down below in the description. You can check that out. Have a look at his website. and Because um, like online you can find little bits and pieces of the recordings, but if you want to listen to the whole thing, you can uh, do it at Ron's website by purchasing his audio tapes. Like, pretty soon I'm going to turn in for the night. And, uh, like, I, I really feel like lying down. Because <laughs> I did fall right on my back earlier, and it's starting to get a little sore, so. I am, uh, really looking forward to just relaxing and, uh, going inside my sleeping bag. <laughs>